ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Boston Office of Veterans Service Commissioner and Marine Corps veteran, Giselle Sterling. In the Marine Corps, I was a field radio operator. And those skills translated into becoming a Comcast cable technician when I got out. I had the cap, I had the boots, I had the band and the ladders, the whole nine, and I was miserable. But my specialty was in receiving and sending messages. I was, my purpose was to relay the needs and wants of one group of individuals to the support and supply of another. And in a not so direct way, that's the role that I perform now as a public servant. So I'm the commissioner for the City of Boston Veteran Services, which also makes me a VSO or Veteran Service Officer. There's one for every city and town in Massachusetts. And our mission is to help our homeless and low income uh, veterans and their families through a financial assistance program called Chapter 115. It's actually not just a program, it's a Massachusetts general law that mandates the government step in and help our veterans in their time of need. Now, through a collaboration of veteran service providers and housing agencies, Mayor Walsh was happy to, happy to announce that Boston ended chronic veterans homelessness. There was a need and we provided a solution. Now, I've been in the business of caring for our veterans my whole life. My father's a Vietnam Marine who enlisted after immigrating from the Dominican Republic. But it didn't become my profession until about 2012. And this is me, about 10 years before that, before uh, enlisting uh, right after uh, high school, before I knew what I wanted to do when I got out, and before I knew some of the challenges that veterans face. One of those challenges is the divide between our military personnel and our civilian population. The questions around that are, how are we having these conversations? How are we connecting our veterans like we're doing here at Got Your Six? Well, there's a group of Bostonians who have been doing this for almost over a year now. Ever since last November, last Veterans Day, my office has been organizing a group of volunteers for a service project called uh, Operation Thank a Vet. It's a simple service project where volunteers get together for a few hours on a weekend go out to the different community and knock on a veteran's door just to say thank you. One of those veterans is Lionel King. He's a Korean War veteran, and in this picture he's holding up a challenge coin. It's one of the things that we give our veterans once we meet them. We also give them a packet of information with a thank you letter and some of the services that they've earned. Now what we found out about Lionel is that his nickname was Sky because he was an unusually tall baseball player um, compared to his teammates, because it just so happens that Lionel Sky King was the first African-American baseball pitcher for the New York baseball giants before they became the San Francisco Giants. So he was just a piece of history in our own backyard. Now during our first Operation Thank of that, we made, met a Vietnam veteran who was really reluctant to open up his doors to us. But after we told him who we were and what we were doing, he invited us into his home. And in his home, in his living room, he started talking to us about his story. And a few minutes into the conversation, he actually began to cry. Because he was explaining to us through his tears that this was the first time he had been recognized for a service in over 34 years. Now for Operation Thank Event, we don't just thank our veterans, we actually bring them back to a welcome home breakfast that we have every year. And it's just another way for us to connect our veterans with other veterans, to connect them with the services that they've earned, and ultimately connect them to the community that they belong to. And through this process, we've learned something that we already know. Our veterans are our national treasures. They are the living, breathing, moving monuments of our nation's history and their stories need to be told. Operation Thank Event isn't just a service project, it's a lesson in gratitude. We're not just talking about 
the differences between one another, we're just talking. We're not worried about this gap that we need to bridge, we're just worried about each other, talking to one another, listening to one another. And in that listening, we find the basic human element of connection. And we do it using two simple words. Thank you. My name is Giselle Sterling, and I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. Thank you.